All right, welcome to Simplifying Operations. We're going to do addition, subtraction, and multiplication on complex numbers. Complex numbers just mean we have a, a real number, real number, and then plus or minus an imaginary number. So like negative 5 is a real number, 6i is an imaginary number. Together, we're going to say that that's a complex number. And we're going to multiply that by another complex number. So when we're multiplying, there's a couple ways to do it. I'm going to perform double distribution. So what this is going to entail, you take negative 5, and we're going to multiply times 2. So negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. And we're going to do negative 5 times negative 5i is a positive 25i. Then we're going to do 6i times 2, and that's 12i. And then we're going to do 6i times negative 5i, which is a negative 30i squared. i times i is i squared. Now things we need to keep in mind is on our next step is what to simplify. i squared. So square root of negative 1 is i. So if we were to square i, square it, we'd square the left side. The square root and the square cancel out. So i squared equals negative 1. So anytime you see an i squared, so now I'm going to go back over to the problem. So this i squared is going to equal negative 1. It's negative 30 times i squared. So it's going to be times negative 1. So ultimately this negative 30 i squared is going to end up turning into negative 30 times negative 1, a positive 30. Other like terms that we have, we have 25i and 12i. And then now we have like terms of negative 10 plus 30. When you're writing these, we're going to write the real numbers first. So negative 10 plus 30 is 20. And then the 25i plus 12i is 37i. And that is our complex number when you multiply two binomials, two complexes together, those two. All right, moving on to number one. Here there's no multiplication, we just have addition and subtraction, so we're going to look and gather like terms with our what we have in common. So we have like terms of 6 and 5, that's 11. And then we have 2i minus 3i. 2 minus 3 is a negative 1, and that's going to be i. Negative 1 times i is just negative i. And there's our answer. Number 2, we have parentheses there because we need to distribute. You can think of it as a negative 1, and we're going to distribute this negative 1 in. So we have the 3 plus 7i that comes down. Negative 1 times a negative 8 is a positive 8. Negative 1 times a positive 2i is a negative or subtract 2i. Now this is going to be just like number 1 where we have like terms. We got 11. 3 plus 8 is 11. And we have 7i minus 2i. So if I have 7i's and I subtract 2i's, I have 5i's left. There's my final answer. Number three, we're going to multiply this with this statement in between the parentheses. 8 times 4 is 32. i times i is i squared. Take that i squared. That's going to convert to negative 1. This is 32 times negative 1, which is negative 32. Number four, we have a subtracting. We're subtracting complex numbers. So if you want the parentheses at the beginning, you could put a 1 there and distribute that in. That doesn't do anything. It's just going to end up being 3 plus 2i. The negative 1, we're going to subtract both terms. So we're subtracting 6, and we're going to subtract 2i. Or you can multiply it in. Same difference. Now gather your like terms. 3 minus 6, negative 3. And 2i minus 2i is 0i, which is 0. So our final answer is the real number of negative 3. Number 5. Here we have multiplication. So we're going to do double distribution. We're going to distribute negative 8 to both terms in the second binomial. So negative 8 times 6 is negative 48. Negative 8 times 4i is a negative 32i. 7i then needs to be distributed times both, so 42i. 7i times 4i is 28i times i is i squared. We then have, to sum, to simplify each term, so we have i squared is negative 1. I mean, that's going to be multiplied by 28. So we have, I'm just going to rewrite everything. 
you don't have to rewrite everything at this step, but I just want to make it look a little nicer. 28 times negative 1 is negative 28. Now I have like terms. I have 48 minus 28 is a negative 76, and we have 32i plus 42i, or negative 32i plus 42i is a positive 10i. All right, number six, square. Square means the base times itself. So let's expand this out. 6 minus 4i times 6 minus 4i. And we're going to multiply this out just like we just did on the last problem. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times negative 4 is negative 24, or negative 4i, sorry, negative 4i. So it's negative 24i. We have a negative 4i times 6 is a negative 24, another one. And negative 4i times a negative 4i is a positive 16i squared. We have the i squared, that's going to get converted to negative 1. 16 times negative 1 is negative 16. Got our like terms, negative 48i. And the 36 will come down. 36 minus 16 is 20 minus 48i. Number 7, we have a monomial times a binomial, so that's just going to be negative 8i. And the negative times a negative is a positive 3i squared. i squared is negative 1 times 3 is going to be a negative 3. So we have negative 3 minus 8i. So negative 8i is going to go to minus. And number 8, we have distributing the 3. So that's negative 12 minus 15i. Negative 11 times 6 is a negative 66. Negative 11 times a negative 5i a positive 55i, and then subtract 4. Gather your like terms, negative 12, negative 66, and negative 4. So that's negative 78, negative 82. We have negative 15i plus 55i is 40i. And what do I think I did wrong? So this is actually number 8. So what did I do wrong here? Let's compare. I'm looking at, what did I do wrong? Negative 12, negative 12, negative 15, 60, minus 66, minus, oh, right there. Here's my problem. Negative, that should be a positive. That is ugly, so that should be a positive. That's the problem. All right, number 10. What did I do wrong? Well, this is a binomial squared, so that means expand it out. 4 minus 3i times 4 minus 3i. And then when you distribute, 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times negative 3i is negative 12i. 3, negative 3 times 4 is negative 12i. Negative 3 times a negative 3i. Negative 3i times a negative 3i is a positive 9i squared, which is not what I all see here. These terms do not, middle terms do not go away. So that's our, that's our error. We did not distribute out, expand it out. Tried, looks like tried distributing the square, which is not something that mathematically we can do. All right, I'll do a couple more problems here. So number 11, we have seven minus six plus, there's a one in front. You can distribute the one if you want, no need to. You can just drop parentheses because you're not actually changing anything. Gather your like terms. 7 minus 7 is 0. Oh, and then you got negative 6 minus 2i. Next problem. Remember, you have multiplication here. So we can't do 7 minus 6 first. You got to distribute your negative 6 in. So 7, negative 6 times negative 7 is positive 42. Negative 6 times a negative 2i is 12i. 42 plus 7 is 49 plus 12i. Um, trying to choose which problems are going to be a little more difficult. Number 16, you got 1 minus i. Expand that out, 1 minus i. Distribute, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times a negative i is a negative i, 
negative i times 1 is a negative i, negative i times a negative i is a positive i squared. i squared is negative 1, so that's going to be 1 minus i minus i plus a negative 1 is minus 1, so 1 minus 1 is 0. Negative 1i minus 1 more i is a negative 2i. That will be your final answer for 16. If you have any other questions on any problem, please let me know in class. Otherwise, 